Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample back with you at London Stadium for the second and final game of this Major League Baseball series between the Yankees and Red Sox. Now, in the video that I did here yesterday, I promised to show you a whole bunch of shots from outside the stadium today, so let me do that while I keep on talking for a bit. First of all, this stadium was built for the 2012 Summer Olympics, and it's currently the home of West Ham United, a football team in the Premier League, or a soccer team, or whatever you want to call it. The seating capacity is larger than any current MLB stadium. There were nearly 60,000 people here last night, and the game lasted 4 hours and 42 minutes, just 3 minutes short of the record for a 9-inning game. The Yankees and Red Sox combined to score 30 runs, which means today's game will probably end up being one to nothing. As you can see right now, this place has been set up beautifully to build hype and create a fan fest type of atmosphere. The most fun attraction is a huge patch of land that's been converted into something called Play Ball Park. There's an actual field where people can take batting practice along with a virtual home run derby, a long row of batting cages, and a bullpen area where people can bring the heat and show off their pitching skills. Of course, there's a long line of fans waiting to take pictures in front of gigantic Red Sox and Yankees logos and so much other cool stuff as well. I just bought a t-shirt at the merchandise tent and now it's time to head inside the stadium. Batting practice should be starting soon. Yesterday, it was crazy as expected. The balls were flying, the players were generous. I assume it's gonna be more of the same today. Let's do it. Okay, here we go with a little voiceover that I'm adding after the fact because we had to cover up all the music that was blasting. There's my first ball of the day thrown by Mookie Betts from afar. That one felt good, just a regular ball right there, not a commemorative logo. Now batting practice is underway here, and look at this, a ricochet on a ground rule double right to me. That one took me by surprise. It was so crowded out there in right field, as you can see, I'm just trying to find some space out there. This guy made a nice catch in his hat. He was fired up, and why not? Here we go, over to left field, trying to untangle my string right there and getting a ball down in the gap with my cup trick. There are actually lots of opportunities to use that thing. You can see all the space behind the wall right there. I'll talk more about that later. Again, super crowded out in left field. Balls that landed in the bullpen were picked up by random employees. They were being cool as well, tossing everything up into the crowd. Here's one of the many righties crushing one to left field. Pretty sure that was J.D. Martinez right there. And check this out, getting a ball from a guard, handed that one over, kind of cheap, but I'll take it. And there are the Yankees starting to get loose. Another great day of batting practice here from the Boston Red Sox. Like I said outside, the balls were indeed flying all over the place. Part of it is the configurations of this stadium, only 385 to center, but this whole place is enclosed and there's no wind, it's nice and warm, and the balls are definitely carrying. So I got a quick one tossed up from Mookie Betts along the right field foul line, then snagged a ground rule double out in right field that was bobbled around, got two balls with the cup trick out in left field, and then got one handed up by a guard in the bullpen. So five baseballs today, that matches my total yesterday from the Red Sox. Yesterday, I only got one ball during Yankees BP, so hoping to improve upon that today. The Yankees are out there playing catch. They should start hitting soon. Gonna switch into the Yankees hat. Not really sure if that'll help, but it can't hurt. And uh, yeah, hopefully snag a few more. Ready for another voiceover? Here we go with Gary Sanchez at the dish and Chance Adams right here throwing a ball into the crowd. The playing surface at London Stadium, not real grass. First time ever for the Yankees and Red Sox that they faced off on an artificial surface. Now this toss up as you can see from Mike Talkman dropped down into the gap. So you know what that means, it's time for the cup trick. At some point, I'll do a whole separate video explaining how the cup trick works, maybe show some other devices too, but for right now, you can just enjoy the fact that I was getting all these baseballs with it. 
no luck getting a toss up from the Yankees in foul territory. And when I headed over toward the outfield after that, I got a side glimpse of the left field bleachers and it was totally packed. I tried playing deep in the first group because Gary Sanchez was up there and he can hit baseballs as far as anybody, but nothing came close to me. The next group featured all right-handed batters and I know from seeing the Yankees often in New York that they love hitting to the opposite field. For that reason, I headed to right field and decided to play down low and go exclusively for baseballs in the gap with my cup trick. For many years, my ball retrieving device of choice was the glove trick, but when I know that I'm going to have lots of opportunities, I prefer the cup because it works faster. Sure enough, there were a bunch of balls that dropped down into the gap behind the outfield wall. Toss-ups, home runs, and also a ground roll double. The cup ended up being the real MVP today. Balls that were sitting out in the open were easy to get, but some that were caught up in the tarps required extra effort. The fans out there were really cool and helped me by yanking the tarps out of the way to make it easier for me to see the balls and get the cup to drop down over them. So as a thank you to everybody, I gave all of those balls away. Now as I mentioned, I got five from the Red Sox and four with the cup trick out in right field for a total of nine baseballs. You know what that means? I am really hoping to get one more today and hit double digits. It seems that all the interesting food options here are in the outer concourse, outside the perimeter of the stadium. We actually saw a few today on the way in, but the lines out there are insane. And if I'm only at London Stadium once in my life, I don't want to piss away a huge chunk of time waiting for food. So I gave up on that, headed back inside, and picked the closest concession stand. They have burgers here, and you can see this photo on the wall right behind me. It looks like a nice, juicy burger. So let's just compare fantasy with reality, shall we? This is what I actually got. All right, well, let's give this thing a shot. Hopefully, it's a little better than I'm expecting. Hmm. Not great. I've never had such a amazing offer. Woo, getting the hookup from the Yankees bullpen catcher on a special London Series logo baseball. Gio Urshela threw that ball up from the left field foul line. That is my 11th of the day. So not only have double digits been achieved, but my friend Greg from New York got 10 balls yesterday. I now have the London Stadium record for most balls in one game. Greg and I love to compete with each other in a friendly way, but Greg, if you're watching this video, you can suck it. So, these awesome guys spotted me here and they wanted to hook it up. How about that? You're famous. Look at this. What's on the back? 
Thanks to a hookup today, I got some great seats behind home plate on the Red Sox side, and the view here is incredible. So many little details that you can see from up close that get completely lost when you're in the outfield. Like Gary Sanchez intentionally kicking away the chalk behind home plate and blurring the lines. I love stuff like that. Now, as it turned out, Sanchez wasn't calling the best pitches early on because the Red Sox exploded with three home runs in the first inning. Xander Bogarts, J.D. Martinez, and Christian Vasquez all with long balls. Boston put up a four spot in the first and now lead this game by the score of four to two here in the fourth inning. And as you just saw, there's been quite a bit of action for me in the seats. I got my 12th and 13th balls of the day tossed by Red Sox coach Tom Goodwin and had a really nice interaction with the president of the British Baseball Federation and his son who spotted me sitting just a few rows behind them and presented me with an official jersey and hat. Great Britain, GB Baseball as it's known, will be competing for a spot in the Olympics this year, so good luck to them. Check them out on Twitter, at British Baseball. I think for right now I might actually take off the jersey and hat. I told them, please don't be offended. I just want to wear my standard gear, which in this case is the Red Sox stuff because I'm sitting on their side. Woo! What a day. when I said I got the hookup today. There is this huge area with free food and free drinks right behind home plate and I have loaded up. Got some mac and cheese with pepperoni, fried onions, and pesto sauce because why not? Some chicken tenders and then the dessert plate. A little waffle with chocolate sauce. We got the cupcakes, some fruit. So I'm gonna be eating very well. I'm gonna take this back to the seats and watch the last few innings of the game. Who knows, probably catch five more balls the way things are going. So much for that one to nothing game that I joked about early on. The Yankees just put up a nine spot in the seventh inning. And in the eighth, Didi Gregorius hit a solo home run deep to right to extend the Yankees' major league record for most consecutive games with a home run. This is game number 31 in that streak. We're already at the three and a half hour mark and there are 10 outs remaining. So I think these teams are gonna end up playing about nine hours of baseball over these two days to complete the two games. This is just ridiculous. A little bit of ninth inning drama at London Stadium with Aroldis Chapman surrendering a leadoff double, but he shut down the Red Sox after that, and for the second straight day, it was a slugfest. Yesterday, the Yankees won 17 to 13, and today they beat Boston 12 to eight. Add up all those numbers, and you have a total of 50 runs in this two-game series. Today's game lasted four hours and 24 minutes. Not exactly efficient, but totally fun from beginning to end. 
Not long after the final out was recorded, the grounds crew started digging up home plate along with the pitching rubber. It took weeks to convert this stadium for baseball games, and the process of taking it apart is already underway. I met so many friendly people this weekend from all over the world. Many fellow Americans who made this trip, plus folks from Scotland, France, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, Hungary, Sweden, New Zealand, and many other places. Amazing to connect with all these baseball fans who've been watching my videos in their home countries. As for me, this is the 38th different Major League Stadium at which I've gotten double digits. Somehow I managed to get 14 today, nine by the end of batting practice, two more before the game, and then three warm-up balls near the Red Sox dugout in the early innings. The Sox were using a bunch of Grapefruit League spring training balls today. You can see a close-up right here of what they look like. And you can see right now I'm back outside the stadium to wrap this up. Now of the 14 balls I got today, I gave away I think 11 of them, but all 14 count for my lifetime total. So that number, 10,920, only 80 more for 11,000. I'm already pumped about that. I'm also pumped about waking up tomorrow morning, flying off to Amsterdam with my friend Benny. There's no baseball there, we're just gonna be kicking it. So after this video, you can look forward to a vlog from my week-long trip to Europe, and then hopefully two videos from Cleveland. I haven't finalized the trip yet, but hoping to end up at the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game. Man, I've gotten about three hours of sleep each of the last few nights. That always seems to be the case when I travel around to different stadiums, so apologies for the bags under my eyes, but I'm just so happy right now. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching.